Hi. Hello. How are you? So, welcome to my first owl's vlog. I I'm just doing my makeup. I got off bed today was at um I think 12, I think. Uh, yes, I wake up. It was noon already. And yesterday I didn't film because I was having a great day. But I read, I read just a couple pages of Calendar Girl and just to start something. And I listened to... I think I'm chapter 7 of Love and Luck, so yeah, I'm doing progress, it's not, it's not like I'm not reading anything at all, but I wanted to start this vlog by sitting here and talking to you guys. I'm this close to the camera because I'm looking to myself in that mirror, mirror. I want to talk to you guys because I haven't been um, having a great days. I do design. I'm a major. I'm a major in design at a college that is um, two hours away from my house and every day I have to take uh, three no, two subways and a train and then a bus to get there every day and you know it's hard because it's really really far away from my house and I definitely wish I had chose someone else because um, it's not like I'm happy there I thought my first first semester would be great. You'll be the greatest uh, moment of my life. Like I'm finally doing something that I I love doing, and it will be cool. I'll be meeting new people and everything. But it was terrible. It was horrible. It was um, the most awful semester I had in some time, some period of time. Um, I have had really bad years, but last year was mentally exhausting, you know, and I didn't want to come back there this year, but I don't have choice because it's a paid school and I'm financial, I, I'm doing this financial scholarship where I, don't, I just pay 30% um, of the tuition and then um, when I finish the, the, the college I will pay for the rest of the, the amount of money that I need to pay for the, the rest 80% that I didn't pay. So um, I, I, can, <clears throat> I can just stop going there. And I spend my vacation thinking, not thinking about college and doing my best to think. I, I don't need to think about that right now. I need to focus on having fun and doing great things. So um, I did. I had fun. I did great things. I had a lot of fun with my boyfriend, with my family. We went to um, a club. We stayed every day in the pool. It was amazing. And then uh, my dog was really, really sick already. He was sick for um, three years now. And in March, the beginning of March, um, he passed away. And me and my parents, we thought that it was the time for him to rest. We didn't want him suffering anymore. And because he, his stomach was not working, his kidneys was not working, and he 
had Alzheimer so we thought we don't want him to suffer anymore and then coronavirus showed up this corona thing is making me really sad and anxious and I don't live with my boyfriend I live with my parents which is great because I know they are okay but it also sucks because I miss my boyfriend and I also miss my sister that is living in another city and she can't come and um, last week we discovered that my cat my cat my we have three cats and one of them is mine the other one was my aunt's but but my aunt gave it to my mom and the other one was my sister's cat but she gave it to us too so the first one my my real cat the real the, the one his name is Shiku um he has leukemia and uh, broke my heart a lot um I'm still broken and I'm trying to do the best for him and do the best to my parents there around me and continue with college, continue with Rita Thompson. Just I'm I'm getting out of my bed <laughs> which is already a great thing, you know. And praying every day that he is going to be okay, that he is not going to suffer or anything and as I am a Capricorn I can hide really well my feelings and that is what I have been doing but sometimes it's hard it gets harder and I have to express myself so if you are living hard time right now if you don't have anyone with you and you are in a lockdown you are staying home and you are alone and you need, you need help you need to talk to someone if someone in your family died if um, your cat or dog died if a friend died if everything that is going on and if something bad is happening please talk to someone please uh, ask for help we are in this life, in this world together, and there are people there that really, really want to help other people. So please, um, don't, don't forget to take care of yourselves. Don't take, don't forget to shout out and speak your mind and take off all these emotions inside your body. That is why I turn off my college notifications today. I wanted to have a moment to myself. I want to just sit and read. I want to pretend like I don't go to college at all. And of course I will have to deal with these problems later because um, it's not because we run away from our problems that they just disappear. They are there, we just not paying attention to them. So. Um, yeah, but today and tomorrow I will just chillax and <laughs> and put makeup on and have fun and play some games and draw and do whatever I want and most of all read because I need to read. Um, I have um, some of the books that I have on my TBR are a bit um, shorter then other ones so i think i read the shorter ones first and then i don't know i don't know I, just one thing that i have in my heart right now is that i want to finish the physical book that i'm reading right now that is um it's not, it's not physical it's a ebook but i will have to hold my e-reader to read so it's kind of physical i guess i don't know um, but I want to finish soon because first is not something that I really want to read, right? And <laughs> because I'm reading for um, arithmetic, and I really, really want to start 
some Harry Potter book. I don't know if it will be Prisoner of Azkaban or if I'll start Goblet of Fire. I really want to read Goblet of Fire. But I don't know, I just don't know. I'll see when I pick the book and look at it and think, oh yes, it's you and now I'm gonna read you. So, yeah. Now I'll do my makeup and I won't listen to anything right now. I'll just be in complete silence doing my makeup. So, yeah. Oh, everything that I use for my makeup is Brazilian. I'm back. And I've been, I'm sorry, I'm really, um, it's really dark, I guess it's better. Well, it's going to be dark because it's already night and, yeah, I don't have the light for it, but it's okay. Um, I was, I'm Mamie now, and I read, um, more pages, I write two chapters of Killing the Girl, and I'm reading the January Killing the Girl. I'm starting from the beginning, um, and I'm actually enjoying it. I'm having fun with it, um, and I will tell you what is it about. It's about this girl who her she dated a guy that lended money to her father because um, he likes to play uh, this I don't think it's lucky games or um, it's not lucky it's um, games like in, in, in Vegas that you might lose all your money and he lent he he borrowed money from um, Mia's ex-boyfriend and he's not a good guy so he he needs to give back um, her father needs to give back one million one thousand one million dollars um, to this guy her, her ex-boyfriend and she doesn't have the money and they and her father is in the hospital because they um used violence violence as, against him so she would pay them so as she doesn't have money and she doesn't have how to get all of this money she um goes to her aunt that has um, a she has this um, website so you can pay for luxury escorts I think this is the right word for it and but Mia doesn't want to do it because um, she doesn't want to do she doesn't want to make sex sex make sex with um have sex not make sex <laughs> she doesn't wanna just she doesn't wanna have sex with a um, completely stranger for money so um she stays really reluctant but then she needs to do it because it's the only way she'll get all the money as she says in the book so um her aunt makes um makes her prettier and put her in really clothes beautiful clothes, put makeup on her, um take um sexy pictures of her and then she starts to see a guy, a different guy for not see to work for a different guy a different guy every month. And this is the first month, this is January. And she is be a luxury escort to uh, this guy named Weston. And what I think now, this is all I have to say about it. What I think now about this uh, book, I thought it was going to be worse because this is a story that could actually happen. This is a story that well, people are not good, and there are people that are not good. 
and this boy this ex-boyfriend of, her, of hers definitely is not good so <laughs> um she sees her option as okay this is the only way i can save my dad me and my sister because he's going to kill all of us so it's a it's a story that i can uh, believe on it and uh, just oh i met this guy and i had sex with him no <laughs> Oh, like I fell in love with him and I'm now I'm having sex with him because I work for the, him for one day and I'm already in love with him because it's hard and I wanted to give him my flower. So, <laughs> no, it's not that. It's, it's, a, um, a, it's a story, you know, it's not just uh, a book about sex. It's, it's a book that has a story that talks about sex. So, I'm actually enjoying it, I'm not thinking it's horrible, and I'm not having that much uh, difficulty to read it, it's kind of an easy read, and um, there is not a, pro not a lot of parts that I cringe, actually, I, I think it's a good book, the hard parts are really hard, and it's a good hard, not a disgusting horror. Not he disgusting hot. Thirty pages in, more than thirty pages in, and there is no sex. <laughs> yes, there is no sex. She so she said that the she didn't she didn't say the the the, the D words. She she didn't talk about his um private parts. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it is. Um, it's a normal, normal book, normal story, but with sex on it. So yes, I'm enjoying it. It's something different. It's something that I would never read, but and I know that. <laughs> but yes, I'm enjoying it, and I want to read more today. I really want to know what is going to happen with her. Um, and I, if I finish this one and I actually like, I might read uh, the other months to know uh, what is going to happen with her. Because yeah, I'm, I kind of, I kind of want to know what she is going to do. And because it, it's cool. The cool thing about it is how makes um, this kind of books make sex being less taboo than it is, especially for women, because the society still lives in the mentality that women, some places in society, not all countries, I guess. But the normal thing we see, the conservative thing we see, is that women can't talk about sex. They're not allowed to talk about sex. And they are not allowed to like sex or want, want to have sex. So, um, this is kind of, this kind of books makes it be more normal and be more more um this kind of books makes it for being more normal in us and make people i think make people accept that it's okay to talk about sex and especially women young young adults like me to see that sex is a normal thing is a good thing is not a bad thing at all and if you want to do it do it be being irresponsible of course but if you don't want to do it don't, don't do it then it's okay your opinion counts and is okay if you want it or not do it so of course always being 100% responsible but yeah I'm enjoying it <laughs>
I'll think. I think it's better. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is Wednesday. <coughs> today is Wednesday, eighth uh, of April, April eighth, and well. <laughs> I haven't been filming and I didn't edit my last week vlog because I had homework to do. I I need to finish. Um, now I am going to do uh, the last paper for this part project that I have in college, and um, I'm re really happy that it. It ended, it's finished, it's delivered. Okay. <laughs> and I haven't been reading a lot. Because I had so much to do and I need to focus what, in what I was doing. So I couldn't just uh, listen to a audiobook because I don't think I would um, pay full attention to it. But it's okay because I finished one book. I finished um, Calendar Girl January. I just I made a spread on my bullet journal this month for hours to be are and uh, here is calendar girl for arithmancy and I I gave this book uh, three stars because it's not something that I'm really um, excited about reading the next 11 books <laughs> But I think this story is believable and what it's good uh, because as it is a erotica book, it could be really weird and not really close to real life. So um, the story is really believable and um, the sex parts of the story are not um, too invasive or weird and doesn't let you like um, uncomfortable they are actually good well written I think it's also close to reality is nothing like too weird of course that the guy is the, the most hot guy ever and the sex the best sex ever always like that but um, like there is never the old today was just okay <laughs> no it was not like that um but that that's just part of what i i think that is part of the erotica um genre has that um the job for an erotica book is that the erotic scenes uh, are good and consistent and need to make you feel hot and if it is steamy, you have to get that feeling, you know, and uh, it does a good job on that. And I'm curious to know if uh, she is going to end up with Wes, if what's going to happen to her, because it's a believable story, but I'm not sure if I'm going to read the rest of it. And it's not a masterpiece, and at times it was tiring to read, like, oh my god, I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> and it's just 100 pages. So um, it is not a bad book, but it's not the best thing I have ever read in my whole life. <laughs> so yeah, it's fine. Um, and right now I am going to finish this paper that I have to finish. And I'm going to read Love and Lucky. Uh, now I can read, um, listen to my audiobook because 
there is there is not something that I have to pay much attention about it because it's just um, gathering the the um, everything the process of the, the 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 project and what we did why we did and everything and just put in 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 a file and deliver. So it's not a big deal. It's not something that I have to pay too much attention for it. And yeah, I'm going to read. I'm I'm really enjoying Loving Look. It's not as good and exciting as uh, Loving Gelato, but it's not bad either. I think the I think I miss I'm I'm missing this. Um, because right now I'm on chapter 7 and there is 16 chapters and right now I, I we only saw um, family dynamics and people fighting so <laughs> I want to see um, I want to see the romance uh, the love and I want to see Ireland through this book like we see Italy to through the other one so yeah this is what i'm looking for this is why i fell in love with that book actually um if it, it was not in italy if it was like a normal story in the united states i <laughs> i don't think i would love as much as uh i do just like um her royal highness i also listened to it in january this year and um, I fell in love because it is in Scotland and Scotland makes everything way more beautiful and the, the scenario is just, it's like you're reading a fairy tale, you know, a modern fairy tale just because it, it is set in Scotland. So yeah. And now I'm going to read, I'm going to do homework, and then I, oh, I might start um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire today, and I want to play Sims today because I finished this, this homework, I finished this project, and I think I deserve having fun a bit, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm.